we are working on an express js application and in the last video we talked about all the best practices we should follow while designing an application or designing an api so in this video we are going to make some change in our application we are going to create a folder structure and that folder structure will help you to maintain and manage your code in a very good manner so in you should watch this video to understand how you should design your web application folder structure so that it should be very easy to use and very easy to access any of the api at any point of time so we are not going to put all our apis over here like we did in our first and the second video of this series we are going to design a folder structure which will be very helpful for you to understand the whole application at first glance so keep watching the video till the end to understand how you can yourself design one of the folder structure or you can follow you can just follow this folder structure that will help you to build a very beautiful application hey everyone this is kamran and i'm a full stack web developer who have building web application for a long time and in this video series i am explaining how you can build your own web applications using express js framework if now if you are new here i would suggest you to hit the subscribe button down there and also the notification bell that will help you to get all the new web app development videos on your feed now let's talk about how we can design a beautiful folder structure in the express js application so first let's talk about why we are doing this the reason behind developing a good folder structure is the accessibility so, so you can access any of the api and make changes in that using these folder structure very easily so now let's talk about how we are going to start developing these folder structures so first thing which we have to learn is that uh, how to use a middleware right so instead of putting our whole apis inside this server.js file itself we are going to move that api to some other folder so for, to use the other folder we are going to use a middleware in the express.js framework let's see how we can use a middleware to access any other folder now i'm going to remove this, this api and instead of that i'm going to add a new middleware so use middleware we can simply use app.use and here whatever i'm going to do that will be executed before ex like before executing any of the apis which will be called in this application so for that i'm going to add what folder i have to access over here and after access so in this middleware we have to pass two things first is the a the api on which we are going to call this folder right first i'm going to make this api which will be slash for now and now i'm going to create a folder which i'm going to access when i'm going to use this api now let's create a new folder name as routes so here we are going to create all our api routes and in this we have to create another folder which will be v1 so as i have already talked about versioning in the apis in my last video so you can watch that why we use versioning in designing an api and so that version we have to maintain in each this route folder so so i will start with v1 and let's say after some time we have to build some version 2 then we are going to add a new folder in this as v2 use that to create different apis so then now the structure will be routes v1 and inside that we are going to make our a collection before creating any collection we are going to create an index file an index file will just be a route for each of the collections so let's say when we are going to add multiple collections of category subcategory products inside this we have got to make folder for each of the collections but before routing those to those collections we have to create an index file right so first let's create that so i will create an index.js over here and in this index.js we are just simply going to route the api to particular folder using this file right for that i'm going to simply create a module over here so if you don't know how to what is this module and how to create this you can watch my node.js tutorial and in that you can simply get the idea what are these modules and how do we use them and in this module i'm going to define my routes so first i have to import my route right so let's do that so now i'm going to define a variable name as routes so now i'm going to import our express module and from that express module i'm going to use 
just a router so i'm going to use dot router and in this we have to pass some parameters so for now i'm just going to pass a single parameter which will be merge params so this will help us to merge all the parents in this api and get the actual route out of it and now i'm going to use this routes to define some routes so routes here will be a direction to which folder which we have to call once i get this route right so here also first i'm going to just use use and here then when i'm going to create a uh, collection so i'm going to name this collection according to this so first i'm going to create a category collection right so i'm going to define this as a category and second will be the which folder which we have to access when uh, we are going to uh, call this category route so i'm going to say require over here and i'm going to pass the folder name which we have to use whenever we are going to hit this api and this will be our category folder i'm going to create a new folder name as category in for that and uh, this is a function so now we have to pass all the parameters which we are getting in this function to this function right so i'm going to rename this as params and this params i'm going to pass into this category folder now from here i have to return this routes and similarly when i'm going to hit this cat slash category i'm going to call this category folder which we have to create so let's create a folder inside this v1 name as category and for category also we have to create an index for js file and this index.js file will be similar to what we have created in the index.js file in this main folder right but this will be exactly same all we have to do is instead of routing it to another folder we are going to route it to the other file that's it and that will be our actual api now let's say if you want to get a category list so first i'm going to repeat all these things inside this so i'm just going to copy and paste and i will remove this reuse instead of that i'm going to use whatever api i want to make so first i'm going to create a get api which will get me the list of all the categories right that i will name as slash list and whenever i'm going to call this slash list i'm going to run the script which i'm going to require from the same folder uh, with the same name in this we also i'm going to pass all the params to this so whenever i'm going to hit this slash category this will call this file and this file will execute this particular script so i have to create this script right so i'm going to create a new file over here name as list.js and in this file i'm going to write the actual code where we are where we are going to return the response of this api so this will also be a module so let's create a module and this will be a module and this will be a function and function will get params as passed from the hierarchy now this will be an api call so that you have to return as a function right so return and then i have to return a function and as you know like an api also uh, always consists of three params that is request response and next and if you don't know about anything about these things you can watch my first video on the express.js that will explain everything about how you can create a basic api and here i'm just simply gonna response and response and as we discussed in our last application and as we discussed in our last video in the best practices we always use a json to return the response of an api so we are going to use dress.json and in this json we are going to just simply pass a json and for now i'm going to just pass a message all so now we have created this file so this file will be called from the index.js of this collection and this collection will be called from the main route folder right and now we have to call this main route folder as well so let's go to our server.js file and import this file so now i'm going to define a constant name as v1 routes and this v1 routes will require our version 1 routes right and this will return our index.js inside this v1 file right so you just have to use this v1 routes inside this use.app 
so use dot app and from here v1 you can simply pass any params if you want to pass from here so this will be passed to, to this one and this will pass the these params to actual api so now we have created this folder structure that will help us to differentiate between all the apis so tomorrow let's say if i want to create a new collections of subcategory i'm just going to add a new folder over here name as subcategory inside that i'm going to create a new file index.js and in that we are going to like uh, create all the APIs inside that uh, collection and in that collection we are going to for each of the API we are going to create a new file so how we are going to do that let's say if I want to create a new file I'm just going to copy paste this one over here and I'm going to put, change this get to put and I can uh, put the name is as update and I can create a new file name as update and that will make a put call to this get slash category slash update for now I'm going to just remove this update as we are not creating and we are just get going to click all this single API and to test this out let's first run this application if you remember from my first video you should know how you can run this application and for that go to the temp mail and simply run npm start and this will run our backend server which we are listening on the port 5000 so let's try to hit this api and get our output on the browser so as this is the big get api we can simply call it from directly from the browser so from the browser you can simply put localhost uh, 5000 and after that you have to put a category and after that you have to say list so once you run this you can see the output over here which we have returned or the response from the api so this is how you can create a folder structure inside your application that will help you to beautify your application as well as maintain the apis in a very beautiful way so this is all about creating a beautiful folder structure in an application in the next video we are going to take the next step create some more apis inside this application Thanks for watching the whole video. I hope you understood how we can create a beautiful structure of an application and what are the importance of creating in this structure. And before leaving, like the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Happy coding everyone. See you in the next video.